don't ever keep largemouth. This one happened to swallow my worm deep, and uh, yeah, I couldn't get it, uh, couldn't get him to revive. So we are keeping him, and we're going to show you how to clean a largemouth bass. So cut right behind the front gill and right behind the front fin there. Put them on a little bit of newspaper. Back, cut back along here, along the back rib, or spine, bones. Get back to this dorsal fin here. And that's when I pop through the bottom, pressure down, and come all the way out the back. Then run it all the way up to the ribs. You can hear it. Then kind of start swiping up, and they got a great big um, rib cage that you can almost come right back up to the uh, to the skin. Pull it over a little bit, and then this is where you get here, come all the way, and that's gonna be bone free. There's gonna be no bones in there. Cut all the way back here, no bones, all bone free. I like to take this little bit of silver out of here. Flip them over and do the exact same thing. Back on here, back on the backbone, coming all the way. Again, get back to that back fin, pop him through, pressure down, and all the way back to the tail. And there's nothing left but bones. Again, come along the top here. back you can hear the ribs then start flaying up just a little bit come up like I said you can come almost right to the skin I pull it over the rib cage a little bit start cutting back down again pop through there Along the belly again, I'll take that little bit of silver out of there And you can see you can pretty much almost see through him There's nothing left but bones and this here is all bone free Some nice flays Take it off the skin I'm using a Rapala or a Paula knife however you want to say it um work really nice down nothing nice flay bone free again the other side take him all the way down again right down to the skin there's nothing left these are bone free. I like to cut them up in chunks or you can also put them on the grill um, with some onions, a little bit of butter and uh, oh, they're really good. Put them on the grill, put them in some, a tin foil pan with some butter and onions and little Lowry's on it. They're absolutely phenomenal. So otherwise you can cube them up, fry them in a pan and uh, yeah, good stuff. So. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video.